Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of November 23rd. Uh, this week, let's uh, jump right into it and see uh, what your overall energy is here. And then we are going to clarify with the baby uh, tarot and we are going to see what else we get. But uh, Leo, let's see what is going on for you here. I like this so far. Uh, let's see. Uh, coming up in a very strong position at the end. We'll have to see what that's about. Uh, definitely like taking the lead at this time as well. So I like to see that. But Leo, let's see what is going on for you here. Uh, your overall energy, happy, happy. I love this card. Uh, this is a very good card, card of happiness and being very happy at this time. It is also a card of channeling uh, good things into your life. So I feel like you are kind of going to be channeling all sorts of good stuff with this card. Love it. Uh, you start off with this dragon card here. Uh, for a lot of you, this can represent just ancient energy. It can represent things that you have been doing for a very long period of time. Uh, as always, there is just this overall energy meaning or re thing for you, Leo, where a lot of you could be leaving behind things that you've done for a very long period of time. comes up in pretty much all your readings. You have the hangman, the seven of pentacles, and the six of wands here. It's like success coming in for you, but it's like something you have waited for for a very long period of time here, Leo. I feel like you need to look at how much work and what you have gained in a situation. You have, again, you have the hangman, which is like gaining enlightenment, seven of pentacles, kind of looking at what you have gained and six wands, a lot of success coming in for you here. So I definitely like to see that. I feel like there have been a lot of delays here with that hangman. Obviously, I feel like things have uh, been very slow for some of you. So that can definitely be a little bit uh, challenging. But it's like the hangman, it's like you're waiting for results. Hangman, he puts himself in hangman mode here, Leo. He, he puts himself here so he can gain enlightenment. Um, then you have the seven of pentacles. It's like he's waiting to see if these uh, fruits here are ripe on this vine whatever you want to call it so i feel like for a lot of you i, I keep getting back to the drawing board in my head for some of you because uh, seven of pentacles is a card of analysis so i feel for some of you it's like you have taken a pause every single time something hasn't worked out in your life so this could be like in love maybe you keep getting into relationships and then you after the relationship maybe you put yourself on pause maybe you look into why things didn't work out, or maybe you try to look for answers. And I feel like this is actually gonna be a good thing because you're heading towards the six of wands. I feel like you are heading towards success. Um, also kind of like on a much more boring note, what I would say is after retrogrades, um, to me, this is very common energy. We just came off all these retrogrades, Mercury, Mars, most importantly, and I feel like this is just saying that you could be analyzing what has gone, what went on during the retrograde, or you could be looking at all situations that happened during the retrograde, and you could be saying, like, what was worth it, what wasn't, what do I need to work on, you know, all that other stuff. Uh, next, you have the Nine of Swords here. Nine of Swords, it says, get out of your head. So I feel like for some of you, this is saying to definitely get out of your head at this time. For others, I feel like this is something uh, temporary in your life. Nine of Swords is a card of like sleepless nights, anxieties, fears, depression, all that other stuff. But you have the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands in this row. There is a change in direction coming in for you here. I feel like for some of you, it's like you're just afraid that something isn't going to go so go anywhere um, with this first row. It's a, like I said, it's a pretty simple reading. Um, I feel like for the most part, there's no reason to drag it out, right? <laughs> and I feel like this is just saying, you know, this first row, this row here is it's like you put in a bunch of time, effort, and energy into something. And I feel here that it's just like you're saying to yourself, um, you know, like you, you just don't want to wait any any longer or you're just waiting to see if something is kind of like worth it um, with this energy. So I feel for some of you, this is definitely could be a relationship. It's like you're trying, you're waiting for results with this eight of pentacles here. So I do feel for some of you, you're just like waiting for results. I feel like you need to like get out of your head, of course. Uh, for others, I feel like this is wanting proof um, the Seven of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, deciding if it's worth it to put 
all this effort into something. Eight of Pentacles, putting the effort in. So, and then Eight of Wands, success. So I feel like if you are thinking about putting effort into anything, whether it be like a new relationship, new job, new business, I feel like this is, would be very valuable for you here, uh, Leo. So I would definitely do it. For others, I feel, it's a, like I said, I feel you're waiting for something here. You have waiting in this row here. But I'm getting the waiting here. Uh, so for some of you, I feel like either you're waiting for communication from a person or I feel like maybe, um, I feel like it's really popping into my head as you do have to wait too long, which is a weird message. I feel like that's saying some of you could be dealing with a person where it's like maybe you text them, maybe it like takes them forever to text you back or something like that. I get something about delays um, in this and I feel like this brings up all these thoughts, nine of swords, you know? It's like you're kind of like thinking like, you know, what are they doing? Are they serious about this? So I, like I have all those questions running around in my head with this first row here and it's like you're not sure what to do. I feel like that queen of cups, it's like you're facing back towards the hangman and you're saying to yourself, do I nurture this situation? Do I put the time, effort, and energy into the situation? Or eight of pentacles, do I focus on myself? I'm almost seeing this as a choice, these two cards here. Because queen of cups, I feel, is pointing this way. And it's like she's saying, do I nurture this situation with a person who doesn't return communication quickly? Eight of Pentacles going this way towards the Eight of Wands, towards success. So for a lot of you, I feel like this is saying you could be walking away from a situation um, where it's like someone just isn't putting in the effort or or what, or they just take too long to respond or whatever is going on here. And I feel like you're putting the work into yourself. This whole last row is like you bossing up, basically. Uh, strength card and the Emperor. Um, also with the Page of Wands twice here in the reading. Um, it's like the page of wands goes to the page of wands up here. So I feel for a lot of you, it's kind of like you're deciding to maybe work on yourself. I feel like you're deciding to walk away from this seven of pentacles. In a lot of ways, I also feel the seven of pentacles is saying maybe in the future, you're like in relationships or whatever. It's like there's a certain amount that you're going to be putting in. It, uh, this almost feels like boundaries to me where it's like you're saying, I'm going to put this much into the relationship. And if I don't get anything back, I'm just going to walk away so that you don't waste your time. So I do feel a lot of you could be doing that. For others, I do feel some sort of results on something financial with the Eight of Pentacles. So I do feel like there's a lot of happiness because of that. Uh, next, you have the Page of Wands. Again, with that happy, happy card, I feel, really, I feel like there's a lot of happiness for you here. But I feel like you're, you are just choosing to be happy here, Leo. I feel like you are the one that is kind of in control of your own happiness. And I feel like you are taking control of your own happiness. You have the Strength card, the Eight of Wands, and the Emperor here. Definitely waiting for something feel like you've been waiting for communication, probably from a boss. Some of you could be waiting for news from a job. I do feel like there is going to be a victory here as far as work is concerned. So I like to see that. For those of you who are waiting for a person to communicate with you, uh, I feel like I feel like two different messages here, Leo. For some of you, I feel like you just see this person as cold, uh, like detached, not willing to invest in a relationship. So I feel like you're probably just going to cut them out of your life. It could be a water sign um, person that you were dealing with, and I feel like you could be moving on from that person or from a person like that. For others, I feel like you are kind of like withdrawing your energy more. So it's like maybe you're not cutting the person out but maybe you're just saying you know what with this diagonal here um hangman eight of pentacles emperor i feel like you could just be saying you know what maybe this person's busy i'll just let them do their thing and when they want to apparently this card will we'll come up well we'll talk about that <laughs> in just a minute uh i feel like that you are kind of like saying that um you know what it, when if they want to communicate that's fine i'll communicate with them but if they don't they don't plain and simple um so i feel like you're choosing yourself even if we go this way here this kind of says um choosing yourself will lead to a victory six of wands eight of pentacles the, the strength card you showing up here um even the eight of pentacles my card of personal develop de personal development so i feel like some of you could just be choosing to focus on money or choosing to focus on yourself at this time that scorpion card wanted to pop off there uh scorpion card is you know could represent like toxic energy things like that but it's really about getting to the point um you know he has this like stinger on his tail and this card here kind of just represents getting straight to the point and being very like uh, straight to the point that's how i feel like you are going to be if you're dealing with a person like this is like very you know kind of matter of fact but let's see what we get for you here leo and let's see what comes up 
And between the Hangman and the Queen of Cups, you have the Five of Swords here. It's like a breakup. So again, some of you could be choosing, I do feel like are choosing to walk away from someone. Like I said, pretty simple reading, get to the point. I feel like the Scorpion card is just saying like, get to the point, right? So I feel like for some of you, you're just walking away from something. Uh, between the Seven of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles, you have the King of Swords here. King of Swords, a card of wisdom. And again, I feel like some of you could be very focused on your finances at this time. I get the word like cleaning up finances. So for some of you, I feel like you're cleaning up your finances here. I'm also getting the word movement, but not as in moving. I feel like you are learning how to move your finances or something like that. Um, so maybe you're just learning how to make more money or maybe you're learn maybe you're um, kind of learning how to save money or something like that. King of Swords would be like an expert as well. So it could say maybe you're like hiring a financial advisor, maybe you're hiring an accountant or some, you know, some sort of expert to help you with your finances. And, you know, that would be a pretty good idea as well. And between the six wands and page wands, you have the king of cups here. King of cups is a good card, but I also feel like you are kind of protecting your emotions with this king of swords. That's what's popping into my head right away. I feel like these two cards go together, the king of swords and king of cups. I feel like it's saying that some of you uh, could be deciding to protect your, your emotions from a person who just isn't engaging. I, like, I feel like no engagement is a word that's popping into my head. Uh, between the Queen of Cups and the Strength card, you have the Two of Swords here. You know, it's like you're having to make a difficult decision is what I would say to you, but I feel like you are, um, I almost feel like that strength, the two of swords doesn't matter. It's like you're making a difficult decision, but I feel like you're deciding to move on from something. Eight of Wands right here. Uh, between the Eight of Pentacles and the uh, Eight of Wands, you have the Empress. Yes, Empress is a card of abundant success going from winter to spring. Again, I really feel like you're focusing on yourself. The Empress is a card of focusing on yourself. It can be a card of you focusing on your own inner strength, focusing on things that you desire, trying to, it's a card of focusing on your things that you value as well. And that's definitely popping into my head. Um, this could be literal material goods, but I think something people forget about the Empress is it could just be other things that you value. Maybe you value spending time with your family. Maybe you value spending, you know, going to the movies, which we can't do, I realize. But maybe you value like other things. And I feel like you could just be deciding, you know what, I'm gonna spend more time doing things that you value. Someone else had this message this month, I, or this week, I can't remember who it was, but it's almost like you are just, maybe you have, are kind of like learning that you get lost in relationships and don't you, maybe you stop doing the things that you once loved. I feel like this is you again, like it's almost like you're stepping back in to your values with that Empress card. And I love that. Uh, I feel like that's very good. Uh, between the Page of Wands and the Emperor, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Amazing. Like I said, I feel like a lot of you are just focusing on your finances at this time, and that will increase your finances. Uh, for others, this could be a career offer as well. Uh, I always get this message for you, Leo, that there could be a career available to you that's not something that you've ever done before. Um, for some of you, I'm wondering if this is coming from a friend. Um, what I would say here is Ten of Pentacles would represent something coming from an unlikely source um, because this older gentleman here represents a, be a beggar traditionally. He is bringing a gift to this family on this card and he represents a beggar. He represents someone who has nothing to give, bringing a gift basically. So uh, what that's supposed to represent in the tarot is that it can represent someone coming to you with an offer or a gift that is unexpected. Um, but this could be, uh, I feel this could be like a job offer. So I would keep your ears open for any opportunities, but it's probably something that is just very different. I always get this message for you, Leo. It's like, maybe you work in one field and maybe it's something different. It's like, maybe you're a nurse, but maybe you have a friend that owns a company and they want you to go work for them doing sales or something like that, totally different, right? And I feel like this is saying, there is a huge opportunity in something that you have never done before, um, just because it's probably unexpected. Uh, in your top row here, Six of Cups, a lot of happiness coming in for you here. Uh, Six of Cups can represent, you know, nostalgia, thinking about the past, but um, for some reason I'm getting the word connection on that card, but not as in love. It could be love connection, um, and we'll talk about this row here in just a minute, but I feel like it's talking about, again, if there's like a new job opportunity coming your way, I feel like you're gonna have a very strong connection to it. Uh, middle row here, justice. Uh, definitely justice in this row. Look, uh, King of Swords can be justice as well. And you have the justice card, so I feel like you could be balancing things out. For some of you, I feel this could be like a new Libra coming in for you as well in love. So if you're looking for love, I feel like this could be a love coming in for you. I like that. 
Uh, for others, I feel like this is just something like more fair coming into your life here. So I like that as well. Uh, bottom row here, you have the devil. I would avoid toxic energy, of course, toxic situations. I do feel like this could be a legal situation involving children as well. So, uh, you know, this could be like a divorce situation if you're dealing with that. Um, and I, you know, I feel like this will be, it's like you're just kind of dealing with it. There could be like a settlement here. But really, what I would say is the emperor with the ten of pentacles could maybe you are trying to settle with someone in a legal matter, and there could be some obstacles. Again, your answer would be the king of swords. King of swords says find an expert. If you're dealing with something legal, obviously that would be a lawyer, um, or you know you might already have a lawyer if you're in a divorce situation. This would basically just say you know trust the advice of your lawyer more or less. Uh, so that's what I would do there. Um, this way here. King of Cups, Empress, Six of Cups. I do feel like there could be love coming in for you. It could be a Taurus. Taurus always shows up in your readings. So it could be a Taurus. It could be any sign. This is just a general reading. People love to tell me that Leo and Taurus don't do well together. My parents, Leo and Taurus, they've been married for like 35 years. Great marriage. So uh, you're wrong is what I'd say there. <laughs> but number two, it could also be a Capricorn or an Aries, a water sign, an air sign. could be anything coming in for you. This is just a general reading, but this could definitely be love. And oops, I feel like it's someone who uh, is like a lot of fun. And um, I feel I'm getting like, I think someone who is very earthy. I feel like they could like the outdoors, things like that. It's popping into my head on this Empress card here. Um, so I do feel like there is love showing up, but probably in the future with this future position here. Um, but uh, yeah, this is an interesting reading. So thank you for watching, Leo, and definitely enjoy your week.